Oh. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, girl. We got the special sauce. Special sauce. So we got these again, guys. This was on like two vlogs ago, but we are like obsessed. And they actually did the tea now with lemonade too. It's a mix. I am thrilled. Oh, they give me a lot of corn salsa. Oh, dirty, dirty, dirty. Anyway. So guys, hi, <laughs> it is 10.30 at night. I have the Olympics on in my beauty room and I have decided at 10 o'clock at night, it's a good idea to reorganize everything. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that's what I'm doing. So it's just a hot mess. And, <laughs> but you know, I'm on this like constant quest to have like this perfect setup. I just don't know what that looks like yet. <sighs> but yeah, but I thought, and Nate's already asleep, I'm like, I'm gonna go do some work, and okay, and here, here, here I am, <laughs> but um, I kind of want to reorganize it with what I have again, and then maybe tomorrow go by the store if I need anything specific, I don't know, but, um, oh, I just got a comment, I, I get notifications when you guys leave comments on my videos, and then I use this phone still to like vlog and so sometimes they'll come in and I'm like trying to read anyway um but I thought so the clip earlier I showed you was from the new Hobby Lobby that we had open up in our town we had one closest to us was like an hour away and I've never been before but people go like ape shit for this place <laughs> and I would say it's like a massive Michaels it's huge um because it just opened yesterday it is like still like chaotic and so we did go but I really didn't get much but I do think I like it but I just need it to cool down first you know um, but I did get a few things that I want to show you because this can be like a good little like idea for you guys too if you're into like I know this is kind of silly but not like crazy photography but if you are trying to maybe make prettier pictures to have for yourself or to uh, post on like Instagram and that kind of stuff like people say Instagram worthy but what I bought hold on okay so my lighting totally sucks right now because it's totally nighttime so I apologize but maybe you'll see these in the future anyway but what I bought were a bunch of different colors of different, uh, these are just paper. They're kind of like a thicker paper. Um, and it's like a 12 by 12. Yeah, 12 inch by 12 inch. And these are $1.99. Well, this is just solid glittery black. What's cool, so for example, let's see here, hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some of these pigments that I have, right? But let me show you. And we'll just use this as an example. But let's say I wanna take a picture of that and I have my like comfy pants on right now. Well, I could try to take a picture and put it on like here as my background and crop it and what have you. And I think it would look fine. You can, it is what it is, right? Or if you have a background, already and you lay stuff on this it just makes whatever it is that's the focal point really pop right so that's why I bought these for so that I can take photos of palettes or products that I want to like share with you guys with like just it'll make a better quality picture I think and it's super cheap to do this so two dollars I got a blue one and I got them all very glittery. Now, I kind of want to be able to use these for uh, food pictures too. And I probably should have gotten maybe different colors because I don't know, to me, when I think glitter, I think makeup, I think that kind of girly stuff. But food, I don't necessarily think glitter, you know? Um, I got a green. I should totally be showing you these in the day, sorry. I got a purple. 
and this is like a really bright blue. It's really pretty. Um, and this is like this iridescent like white, but it's got like a pink when it hits certain light. It's kind of cool. It's like chunkier glitter too. I got a pink one. I got a gold one and this one's kind of chunky too. And I got a silver. So yeah, I spent like 20 bucks, which really is kind of like a lot for paper, I, I guess, but it's, I'll have it and I'm using it for that kind of purpose where it's not going to be like, you know, it's reusable. So I thought that was a cool idea and I thought I'd share it with you guys. Oh, girls gymnastics. I already know they win good stuff. Um, <laughs> but, uh, oh, what's your favorite? If you like gymnastics, what's your favorite? I'm watching her on the beam. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but, um, my favorite is the beam. I think the beam to me seems the most challenging. I'm sure all of that shit's hard, but, um, I like the beam. It's like the most intense to me, um, to watch, but yeah, yeah. So yeah, I did that today, but like I said, maybe tomorrow, depending on how the day goes. I have a video idea too that might be up actually before this, but I'm not committing yet, so I'll have to let you know. But I thought this might be kind of helpful for some people, especially if you're moms. Um, anyway, that's all I'll say right now. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna kind of clean up what I do have and go to bed. <laughs> yeah, anyway, just thought I'd show you guys. So it is the next morning and this is what I got kind of set up for filming and I actually really, really like it. I ended up moving like all of my palettes and lining them up behind me versus in these cabinets. I think this is gonna work well, but now guys, I have a thought because here's those papers, look a little better in light, right? But I have this idea and I'd have to get more though because I didn't buy enough to do this, but like where the wall shows right here this dark gray what if I put this behind all this stuff and it will almost look like the wall is this color or whatever one I choose you know I think this could be really cool what do you think yeah I might do that and it would be again something very cheap to do it that's what I'm kind of thinking, but now I need to go and get more because, I, like I said, don't have it. But I don't really want to go back to Hobby Lobby because it's actually kind of far from us. Um, but Michael's is pretty close, so I might do that. But yeah, I'm liking where I'm going with this. I am. And then over here is just uh, all my stuff still. I still need to clean it up a little bit, but it's kind of where I ended it last night. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys. I don't even know what's going on with this hair, but we're just gonna let it be. Um, <laughs> so my dad just came by and picked up Little Man um, just to go over to their place, probably swim a little bit. And I am going to go, it's like four o'clock, but yeah, I'm gonna go by Michael's, I think, after all, <sighs> and see if I can't find some of those papers like I was talking about to kind of use in my background. That's what I'm thinking. Um, and you know browse around so we'll see what I end up getting okay so I am back from Michael's and I'll show you guys what I got and I'm really excited because I am doing like my first little DIY which I'm not thrilled about like typically but I'm really excited hopefully this will work but you'll have to wait and see what I'm doing but <laughs> let me show you what I got guys this was nostalgic do you remember these pens these existed when I was in like junior high and I had to buy them because of it. But I'll use it for like my planner and stuff. So yeah, I got stuff for my planner and then the stuff that I was talking about for like my setup. But if you don't know what these are, oh, these have been around so long. Yeah, I hear you cat. <laughs> so how to get those, they're not that cheap either, but they are cool. Um, the color of them, the metallic in the pen is pretty cool. Then I ended up actually getting, they're actually like packaged in these plastics, which is kind of cool. I might save these to like put the other ones that I already got in, um, just cause they do kind of like flake glitter a little bit, but I'm gonna use these for behind me. Like I was showing you earlier and I had silver, which I think would look really good too. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna branch out and I'm gonna like 
do color. So I'm excited. So I got four of these and I think that's gonna be enough for the area I'm thinking. And then they have these candles, guys. They're only $3.33 each. They're big and they smell amazing. I've bought these before from Michaels and I love them. Um, but you gotta go when they have just like, it's by season basically. Like they're, they're getting all their fall stuff right now. And the sweet pumpkin pie, pumpkin spice, caramel swirl. Yeah, they ain't kidding. It is amazing. And even if you just take the lid off, like you don't even have to light the damn things. <laughs> and then a vanilla one. Um, then this is the little DIY project I'm going to be doing. So this is like washi tape. It's, it's basically not washi tape, but regular tape that's just glitter. And this is like a white glitter. And then this one is very, very similar to the uh, papers that I got. But I'll show you what are my idea. And once I get going, I'll totally show you guys. It's not like a secret, but it's going to be kind of hard to explain. <laughs> then to go with it, aren't these so pretty? I got the True Swarovski uh, brand, which these little shits ain't cheap. But I figured if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna not cheapen it up as much as possible. You'll see. <laughs> so I picked up four of those. Then I, I've never, I don't know how this works. You'll have to let me know too if you've used this before. We'll see how this goes. But this supposedly will work to um, adhere like the crystals onto whatever it is you're doing. And yeah, this was like 20 bucks, but I did have a coupon for 40% off. So we'll see. Um, if this doesn't work though, I'll take it back and I'll use super glue. <laughs> and then for my planner, I have never seen any of these things at Michael's before super dedicated to planners. So I was like really surprised and happy to see these. Now you guys know I have my Erin Condren and I want to keep filming uh, plan with me videos going forward. But um, so these aren't necessarily made for them, but they're also not not made for them. Like you can tell the size, the cut of them it'll work, you know, um, but it doesn't necessarily say Erin Condren on it. But I thought these were super cute. And most of this stuff that I got was only like $2 to like $6 maybe, depending on what, you know, it was. I thought these stickers were really cute. So cute, right? And you get 135 of these, so you get a couple sheets. And then these ones were, you got four pieces and each one is 25 sheets. So yeah. And then I just thought these were cute. Just pretty. And they're like little like, um sticky notes but you can put them in your planner and they're like the right size they know <laughs> and then I think these were the ones that were a little pricier but literally still like five dollars these are I thought these were cool because again they go to fit in your planner and then they have these round ones these ones isn't that cool I was excited. <laughs> and then same with this one here. I thought this was cool. And these, are you can totally tell, are made like to fit in the squares. These even look a little smaller, which can be nice too. How cute is this? And the cool thing about like stickers too, like obviously we've already passed Easter and Mother's Day and Father's Day and all that this year, but it's not like these go bad. You know what I mean? Like you'll have them for your next time, you know? Um, these I thought were super cute too right so cute and you get a really good amount so and then they have even more here I, I think it's so cute it's pretty cool so if you are in the market for or trying to find you know more stuff for your planners or whatever you know I just find it very like is all this stuff really necessary of course not right like you can do stuff in your phone you can write in your planner and not put one sticker in it for me, it's just the act of like zoning out and making something cute. You know, it's more of, it's a hobby. It's like scrapbooking your year, right? And you can keep the planner and it's kind of almost your reference of like a diary even. So that's the way I look at it. And that's why when I find stuff like this, I'm like, I wanna share it with you guys. For those of you who also do it, you'll probably be like wanting this for sure. <laughs> okay guys. Here's my thoughts. Hold on. So here's one of my makeup cases that is now 
up on top there. I just removed the one, so it looks kind of funny. So my thought with this is, and peace, please have patience, be with me, because <laughs> this is not typically something I do. But my thought is I'm going to use this tape, which is a pretty perfect size, and in my mind, that's what I was thinking, and use it to like tape right here and right here, and then, you know, on all of them, and I'll kind of alternate between this white one and then also this teal one so it matches the background, right? And then for the little bit of um, the little, you know, not, why can't I speak? The little knobs here, I'm going to put the Swarovskis on. And I'm thinking, technically, I didn't even say that before. Technically, I got a 38 pack and a 28 pack and the 38s are just a little bit tinier and then the 28 pack is a little bigger. So my thought is, is I'm gonna put the little bit bigger ones right here, just one on there and then on this little tiny bit, I'll do the smaller ones um, just straight across on all of them and all those too. So, <laughs> but I'm hopeful that this tool that they claim works well it will work for me and I guess it comes with like the um, different sizes for different size crystals and my thought was like you know again if I like this and this comes out the way I want I can see myself like you know like you know putting crystals on canned foods it'll be ridiculous but <laughs> anyway so that's what I'm gonna do I will keep you posted on my progress with this I'm excited but I'm also nervous okay we'll see okay so here is my crystals here is this hot contraption they ain't kidding it's hot and you put on they comes with a bunch of tips and you pick the tip of the size millimeter <laughs> people get into this of um, the crystals and then you just literally grab your crystal real quick with it. Bam! So I thought I'd show you guys these again because I'm always talking about them and showing them in like all my food videos. These are our favorite storage containers and they're the snapwares and they come in either plastic or glass. This one particularly is the plastic and my parents picked this up for me even though we have like three sets now. You, but what's so great is obviously we can, you know, the lids are interchangeable with the sets, right? So that was very nice. And these are on sale right now at Costco. I will link them below for you guys. For those of you who do not like shop at Costco or don't have a membership there, I will say though, I have looked online so that I can link it and I cannot find these as cheap as they are at Costco. Just throwing that out there. So what the links I have found, I think they're around 35 to 40 and the ones at Costco are on sale right now for 20 and they're normally like 25 there. Anyway, just thought I'd show you and then this is what it looks like when you do get them. Just all in there. Good stuff. So yeah, I'm just putting these away. I love these things, I do. Anyway, just thought I'd show you guys. Also, real quick, I kind of showed you a quick clip. I actually ended up filming a video that will be up this next week on how to like bedazzle your vanity area and stuff. I'm so happy with how it turned out. See, Obsessed is putting it mildly. <laughs> but I have all the lids on top and I have all the containers on the bottom corresponding. I love these things, guys, I really do. But yeah, you can see some of them are the glass ones, but majority of them we have are plastic. But yeah, love these, I think they're the best. They're the easiest to work with. They um, keep stuff fresh, love them. Anyway, guys, guys, so tomorrow, if you are watching this the day this comes out, tomorrow, this will be up as a true haul and kind of more of what I'm doing and stuff, so it might be kind of repetitive. Guys, what are we doing with our lives, really? <laughs> so, you know, because being vegan wasn't enough, but we are gonna try, Nate and I, a cleanse, a juice cleanse. 
good lord i found a website um that i'm kind of gonna follow for this three day cleanse and i'll link it below because this is not me i did not come up with this on my own um i'm following what i found from this person and yeah so isn't this insane yeah so i will have more specifically a haul up for you guys though tomorrow of what this all is but we did just go buy this um juicer i don't think this is top of the line by any means but so with that said we will totally return it if it's horrible um but this was 60 dollars at walmart this, this is going to be again for three days for two people Anyway, I'll go over more of it tomorrow for you guys. And what I'm thinking is, is maybe I'll vlog a little bit for next week's vlog of kind of what I'm feeling, how the experience is going. But I had to show you because this pile is just crazy, right? Three days of food for two people. Crazy. Not literally like not an ounce more. Like this is all measured out to be what we are supposed to consume. This is crazy. <laughs> Anyway, guys, had to show That's not even the worst one. No, I think that might have been the worst one. No, the one with beets and kale and broccoli? <laughs> that one is gonna be bad. Like seriously, that doesn't taste good. Now this is the breakfast one, right? Yeah, this is how we start your day. Folgers in your cup. Oh, gross. Oh, God. The best part of waking up is definitely not this. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Uh, it's gross. All right, let's do another one. Let's see if this gets better. Since like another type? Yeah, we're doing the taste test of trying to use it. I don't even want to make you them. You're not going to drink them. I thought, man, that's not nice. You'd rather just starve. Your tongue's green. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, no, I'd rather starve. But 
at the same time, maybe it will taste better when you're starving. So, do you really want to prep? Are you going to do this? I'm going to do it. All right. Are you going to do it? I'm going to have to. You're going to know if I cheat. There's <laughs> nothing else I can eat. I have to go to work with something. Yeah, but you can just leave it in the car. <laughs> yeah, but then how am I going to spend money without you seeing it? I'm going to borrow it. Like, the things we talk about. <laughs> yeah, like... See, how am I going to cheat? There's no way for me to cheat. I'm screwed. You could cheat because you're going to be at home. I might cheat. <laughs> I know you are. It's all over the counter. God. It stinks. Dude. But yeah, we're going to film the recipes of six different juices. <laughs> <laughs> we're so bad. We are really talking this up well. Oh, come on, guys. Have a good time, Piggy. Now, let's see. This is the test. If the pig doesn't eat it, uh, then it's no good. He's he, kind of being picky. He's walking away. Is he walking away? <laughs> the pig's walking away? He's trying to find the pits of apple. Yeah. So, I think if I just chug it, like I've never chugged before and Should hope it? to hell that it... Like our college years? Better. Just like college. And... But, uh, I, I, yeah, so far, guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a fan. <laughs> but we're gonna film all six different juices that we're doing. This was one. <laughs> but I'll make a video of it for you guys. Anyway. Yeah, take one more drink for the, for the show. Keep a happy face. <laughs> I don't think... You look like you're gonna cry. I don't... Hey guys, just posted a new cleaning routine video. Go leave it some love. Hope you guys have a great, great day. Side note, I did not feel good at all yesterday, but I'm doing okay today, and it's time to get some work done. I need to film. We're doing it. I was thinking of filming a my top five palettes. Is that something you guys would want to see? I haven't done something like that in a long time. Excited for more gymnastics tonight. Ooh, oh. <laughs> So I filmed my top palettes after all, and I'm going to edit today, and I hope I can get that up for you guys tomorrow. I know my lighting kind of sucks, but I have no filter on right now, guys, and I'm kind of digging this look of, like, dramatic lashes with, like, no other makeup. You know what I mean, though? Like, I have foundation, but I have, like, super, super light eyeshadow, hardly any, like, contour, no lipstick. I like it. Side note though, we have a Hobby Lobby that just opened up, like grand opening was yesterday, and I'm thinking, I think I want to go, but if you guys have gone before, what do I need? Like what is like a must have from there? Oh, it's back. It is back. This is fantastic. Hey guys, so new video is up. Go leave me some love. Acai bowl and responding to comments for the win. Oh yes. So I'm heating up my water and I'm going to make this mango black tea um, from Trader Joe's I just picked up. I used to work at a coffee shop years and years ago and we used to make this mango black iced tea and I loved it. And so I'm hopeful this is going to be very similar. I've been on an iced tea kick again, which is good. Getting away from soda as much as I can. But let me know if you've ever had this one, guys. What do you think? My empties bins are filling up. Who wants to see another video? <laughs> Crazily enough, my husband actually like uses this service. Who knew? So I wanted to ask you guys, I'm thinking of filming a makeup look tomorrow perhaps. Do you guys have any like requests of a certain kind of look you want to see? Let me know. So I was thinking, maybe I won't have an acai bowl this morning. I'm going to have one. It's going to happen. That's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. By the way, this is my favorite granola for these bowls. So good. Yummy. 
I'm working on these guys. I just filmed it too. So next week I will have a video of this up on how to do this.